The word dynasty is not often used in combat sports, but I think EBI has its first dynasty. The Danaher Death Squad, another victory for you guys. Gary Tonin, you capture your fifth EBI championship, and uh, you did so in style, submitting all four of your guys in regulation, another $20,000. How does it feel to capture another title? It feels amazing on so many different levels. Um, you know, I mean, this is my true weight class. You know, I've competed in, you know, many different heavier weights and everything like that, but I was just telling these guys, like, this is the most excited I've ever been for an EBI, and there was a lot of, uh, you know, moral victories in there. One where, you know, I was having trouble, uh, you know, getting a clean enough break on somebody's leg, and I finally got it by the, by the end. And the other at the very end uh, with Wagner where, you know, I've had two matches against him, one where he's actually injured me long, years ago, and then the second where he beat me by points. And now this, this third match, I was able to submit him fairly quickly. You know, and uh, I'm just uh, really proud of our team. And, uh, you know, I'm so proud to be able to represent them in this way because they really deserve it. You know, uh, they work so hard. And, like, for me to be able to show the things that we, we work on in the training room are so effective, um, it just makes me so happy. We talk about your success, your EBI record. Do you have any idea what it is? My what? Your EBI record. Do you My know what it is? EBI record, like, like match per match? Yeah. Uh, let's see. So that's five EBIs, right? So I'll, I'll save you the trouble. Okay. You're 22 20, and one. Okay. 22, 22 and one. Okay. Um, obviously, that's right, the absolute one. Yeah. Right. Obviously, uh, you know, lightweight champion, multiple weight class champion. When do you end? Do you, do you just keep going? Do you just keep, you know? Well, we're beginning the stages of my mixed martial arts career now. Um, you know, you might see me in the combat jiu-jitsu coming up. Um, but, you know, my main focus now is going to shift, you know, uh, so if I do continue to compete in EBIs, which I, I'd like to, uh, it make, if it conflicts with times that I have to fight and things, that fighting is getting the priority now. So you'll probably continue to see me in grappling. I'm very excited. I love grappling. It's the first thing that, you know, I fell in love with in, in terms of my life in a sport. Um, so I'll always be there, I think. But uh, now, because the focus is shifting towards mixed martial arts, um, you're going to see me competing more in that aspect, you know. So uh, maybe some of my teammates will rise to be the new stars of EBI as, as well as I did, hopefully better. Not that you're walking away by any means, but they make a lot of comparisons to mixed martial arts, the early days of the UFC and EBI. With the record that you have, the legacy that no matter what happens going forward that you will leave behind, would you call yourself the Hoist Gracie of the Eddie Bravo Invitational? Uh, I wouldn't want to say that, you know, because, uh, you know, he always had his own, uh, you know, uh, reign. And, you know, it's a totally different thing, and he was, he was amazing. But, uh, you know, hopefully, I, you know, I'm just the Gary Tonin of VBI. You know, I just I want people to remember my name, and uh, hopefully I leave a legacy that uh, is creative and unique uh, all, in, all in itself. You know, I don't want to – I don't even – why compare it to somebody else? <laughs> I like that. The Gary Tonin of EBI. He is the lightweight champion, your fifth EBI title. Can't wait to see what's next. Congratulations. Thanks, Thanks again. Appreciate it.